saves lives. Hi guys, Stuart Narren here for Outdoor Basics and today we are going to talk to you about the Chorizo shirt from TRC Outdoors. Um, this is a bit of kit that I wanted for quite some time um, and then I'll spin the bit on how I got it in, in a wee second. So basically what this is, is a windproof shirt. Um, guys that have served in the military or, or maybe know them as zoot suits or parasilks and effectively what that was, was you would get like a, a shirt very similar to this made up out of cargo parachutes um, you would get off cuts and like kit repairers or whoever would knock them up um, but to be honest they were nothing on the quality of this um, so the, the, the way I got this was, I've got a few kind of, the, a few of these sort of things I've had various ones over the years um, I've still got one for when I was in um, and I was out, I wear it out running if you follow our social media you'll see that I do a lot of trail running, a lot of hill running and I was out running and I done a wee video and I just says look I'm going to need, I'm going to, need to get one of these uh, TRC outdoor ones because I know Ben and I've kind of had my eye on it and the thing that drew me to it was the night camo which is kind of like a camouflage but isn't it if you know what I mean it's no kind of mega in your face it's no me running about an MTP kidding on I'm still in um, but it's kind of just kind of retro and cool and I really really like it because a lot of the ones that I've got like I say are for running are like bright green, bright yellow so I'm safe when I'm on the hill but I wanted one that wasn't camouflage but would still allow me to kind of blend into the background a wee bit while I'm out doing bushcraft or I'm out and about um, so this kind of tied into that absolutely perfectly had a wee bit of character with the camouflage and just slipped uh, kind of wasn't it too cheesy when we were wearing like MTP or anything so I'll get it out and then I'm going to talk about it a wee bit before I bang it on so it's a wee bit damp because I've been wearing it about and you can see um, I've actually been under a uh, tarps down there but um, it's still pretty horrible so as we're looking at it guys yeah you'll, you'll see there's a few things that I want to talk about first First thing that I want to talk about is the material, which is 30D polyester. Um, and I've got a few other brands of these, like I said, that just don't feel as good. Um, and some of them are kind of bigger name brands. And me personally, the weave of this is tight enough that it's going to completely block the wind out, but it's also still soft enough that it, it feels kind of silky. It feels like you, you would imagine it to feel. I've got a couple, and unfortunately for me, they kind of feel crisp, packety. Do you know what I mean? And when I was wearing them running, they definitely, I got a bead on. Whereas this, the, this 30D just feels a lot, lot better. Um, real nice feeling material. I like that. Next, the stitching. And I, I'll get to all this in a wee second. So this is like overlocker, I believe they call it. Overlock stitching. Um, and they've decided to go for five. In normal garments it's four. But because they're working with this kind of finer material, um, they've decided to go for five, which for me, it's wee daft things like that that really matter. They've put a wee, a wee bit of extra thought um, into the garment, the end user. People that are wearing these are going to be out and about doing robust activities and they don't want the kit failing on them. So that wee bit of extra thought to go with the five instead of the four is absolutely massive. It's wee simple things that you know you can trust the kit. Next, the cuffs. And the waist belt are this kind of four stitch elastic here. And you'll see, usually a lot of the other ones I've got, it's just like a bandy elastic with like a kind of tie off, you know what I'm talking about. Um, especially when I'm running, they can fall into a bag of, and, and make their way up your body and they're just annoying, especially if you're layering. This doesn't seem to do that. It gives me a really good seal that I can either fold over or pull down that way. It doesn't ball up, it doesn't lose its shape, it's just a good bit of quality. Um, so yeah, let's bang this on. All I've done with this, right, see that there's the wee labelling. There's standard size and then there's kind of larger size. I'll talk about that when it's on. Most people are only going to keep this wee bag because it's going to get in a canoe sack or it's going to be going in something else. Me, I just like the quirky wee bag. I think it's quite cool. So I've just looked it round the wee label on the inside so I don't lose it. And as you can see, it popped out no problem there. So, the garment itself, I'm kind of five, ten and a half. The half counts, yeah. Um, so, and the standard fit is kind of spacious. 
but there's a reason for it being kind of spacious and I'll go over some of them in a moment but as you can see like I said there it gives a really good tight seal on the waist see the way I've folded that up gives a really good tight seal to keep the wind out but it's not overly tight on my body so yeah that's quite impressive I like that I must admit um, and then I've got a real generous hood can go up over my cap no problem um, which is Gucci so happy with that that would fit over that would fit over a helmet um, if you wanted to be a total screamer but whatever uh, I jest <laughs> So, the, what I like about it as well, you'll notice that I didn't need to take my cap off to get this on. It just slipped over the top, um, no problem, and, that, and that's that's a bonus. Um, slightly oversized, yeah, and the reason it's slightly oversized is, for if you're a soldier, you, you're on the ground and you go for a, a, a hasty stop or whatever, you don't have time to get your warmers out, don your gary, whatever. You can see how small that was in that pack, and it can go to half that size again. You could top pocket that, whip it out, bang it over the top, it's over the top of your chest rig, over the top of your jacket, it's cutting the wind out and it's giving you that wee extra layer, because wind chill factor is what, get, is what gets blocks for sure, wind chill factor is massively underestimated and it is, a, it is a howling thing, it'll steal your happiness as I say, so being able to bang this over the top very quickly, cuts the wind out and gives you that wee bit of respite, also it's oversized for if you're wearing the old duty north face puffer jacket because everybody has one or the old duty rab puffer jacket um, or any of that sort of anything corinthias whatever anything that involves having a bit of loft this doesn't go on mega tight and and cut that loft down it still allows the undergarments to still loft but jumps on over the top and gives that wee bit of extra windproofness for me why do i like it all i've got is just a um kind of wicking t-shirt on underneath, you know, one of the sports t-shirts and then a basic fleece in a normal day when it's not as wet if I, but it might be a bit chilly if I'm cutting around with the fleece on and the wind picks up I don't want to get my gary on because I'm still going to get a bit of a bead on there I don't want to get my waterproof on because I'll get a bit of a bead on but if I bang this over the top of the fleece it just cuts the wind out completely for me so I'm still able to be doing camp tasks moving around, doing all the things that I want to do without over layering and it just gives options. Um, you could use it for wet and dry drills. You could use it, I think uh, I, one of the lads, Tom, the prepared Pathfinder uh, channel, was talking about for his go bag. If he had to, a, a, a small wind shot can go over the top as a, cam a camouflage layer, but you're not necessarily having to carry a big bulky camouflage thing if you did have to have a bit of a mooch about for somebody's go bag. Just an option, just a thought. Yeah, I thought that was quite smart when Tom said that. So yeah, solid windproof layer, um, adds a, a good amount of warmth, punches well above its weight and its size, and excellent, so uh, 30D polyester, TRC Outdoors, Cherizo Windshirt, and Night Camo. Um, personally, you know what I mean, I think it's Ali Az, and everybody knows that Ali saves lives, so yeah, I like it, I think it comes in um, an RSM friendly MTP, um, a kind of brownie colour and then the ever cool night camel which I got one of their, their Timmy hats as well they call these things with a mesh on the side I'm not going to take it off because I've got a lockdown haircut and I look like a chopstick um, but trust me it, 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 it's an outstanding cap this actually blew me away <laughs> the, the cap was surprisingly cool so yeah TRC Outdoors they've got some cool products already and I think they've got some exciting things on on, in the pipeline, so they're one to keep an eye on. Um, price range, um, jump on their website, I think Kit Monster has them, TRC Outdoors obviously has them, I'm sure they maybe have them on Amazon, but if you can support kind of veteran owned companies like, go direct to TRC Outdoors or jump on Kit Monster, uh, support the lads, support their own. Um, so yeah, as always, I've been Stuart, he's been Alan, you've been awesome, Night Camel's cool, Alan has saves lives, and I'll see you in the next one.